Good morning everyone. Happy Monday and welcome to a new vlog. We are a week out from departing for our vacation. What does that mean? That means that there's a ton of things to do. Oh my goodness, there is so much to do. We've got to clean the house. I've got to make sure the laundry gets done. We've got appointments. I need to get my hair touched up because the gray is showing. Manicures, pedicures, making sure that everything's ready for uh, uh, the person that's going to be house sitting. Um, packing, all of that stuff. I've got my makeup on. I actually woke up at six o'clock this morning and I'm ready way earlier than usual. It is 10 15. I also want to show you all of the fantastic things that we have gotten for the home since we last spoke in a vlog. I've gotten a couple things from H&M Home and then we went antiquing this past weekend and yeah, I got a little crazy, but I knew that I was going to. I knew that I was in the market for some decorative items. I cannot wait to share them with you. Um, I think that is all for the moment. I need to put on some lipstick and then I need to get my lighting and such set up, my camera set up for shooting today's content. I'm going to be doing an H&M spring try on haul. I think that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys down and uh, I will talk with you again in a little while. Look at her. Isn't she angelic? Oh. Hello, my sweet. Hi there. She's such a beautiful girl. She does not want to be awakened. There we go. Hi. Hi there. Am I bothering your beauty sleep? <laughs> Can't even open your eyes. You silly girl. You silly girl. Oh, goodness. So, I have finished shooting. I actually finished shooting a couple of hours back. And um, it went well. I am just about done editing my reel for today. Just a simple outfit of the day. Let's zoom out, there we go. I didn't show you my outfit of the day though. Well, it's partially this outfit, but I have taken off my shoes because it's getting close to the end of the day and I'm about to change, but I just wanted to show you. All right, so here is what's left of the outfit of the day. Um, I'm barefoot right now. I did have my white sneakers on. I did post it to Reels, um, but I've taken my shoes off since because it is getting kind of late in the day. So about four o'clock. It's just uh, just four o'clock now. But um, wearing my white wide leg pants, I'm wearing this leopard print shirt that I picked up from Nordstrom. It's Vince Camuto. Um, I was wearing my white Gucci sneakers, and then for jewelry. I have a new piece actually let me turn you around for jewelry I have some new pieces or a new piece I have this beautiful little malachite necklace from Ana Luisa New York Angie got this for me for our anniversary which was last week and she also got me these little earrings these little huggies from Ana Luisa they've got little suns with a moonstone so cute I'm wearing my hoops from Bon Levy and then I am wearing my ever ring and then I can't remember I can never remember the name of that little ring let me cover my eyes here. It's a little band of like blue stones and then my onyx ring. And got my glasses on. I wanted to show you what I got from H&M down here. And then I will show you what I got from H&M and the antique store downstairs. I created this little vignette. You'll see why this lamp that was downstairs is now up here. But this lampshade we got from Target not long ago. I really like the profile that it gives the lamp. Really nice. This little bowl I picked up at a flea market a couple of years back. A few years back, I should say, because it was pre-pandemic. And then my fashion book, it's about fashion ads. And then what I got from H&M, the flowers I've had, but what I got from H&M was this gal here. I love her. I love that neoclassical kind of thing that's going on right now in decoration and in interior decor. She's beautiful though. She's a lot bigger than I thought because look at her in scale to the lamp. She's pretty big. 
but that was one of the things that I got from H&M Home. That's a little vignette that I created here. I felt I needed more light in my shooting room because it was very dark in this corner over here. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna take you downstairs so I can show you the rest of what we got. I went ahead and changed out of my everyday clothes because it is time to start making dinner. And I wanted to show off some of our antique finds from this weekend. First thing, pride and joy. This lamp right here, it is so pretty. I already published this to my stories on ONA Hummingbird Home. So if you're not following us there, you should, because this already went on stories. This is a mid-century lamp from the 70s. It's a glazed ceramic. It is fabulous. I found one on Etsy that was selling for like almost a thousand dollars. So I think we got away with the steel. This is not its original um, lampshade. This is one of the spare ones that we had. Um, it's probably too small for this lamp. We're going to go out and look for one that's slightly bigger, maybe longer, you know, taller as well to kind of fit the lamp. Although, I don't know. I think it kind of looks okay, but Angie disagrees with me on that. So we're going to go out and look for another lampshade. It just needs to be a little bit bigger. That same shape and everything, but a little bit bigger. Yep. It's a beauty though. $85. Can you believe it? And they're selling like for nearly a grand. That's crazy. Here is the original lampshade and I don't like it and I don't think it's original to the lamp either because it was hiding the finial at the top of the lamp and if it had been the original lampshade it would not be hiding the finial because the finial was made specifically for the lamp and I'll show you what I mean. You can see here it's got that finial up at the top and it's I don't think that that was the original lampshade that was just the lampshade that the seller put on it. Terrible job if you ask me. All right next something that i am so excited about this beautiful piece of pottery this is from a mexican artist his name is javier servin and i just love it i love the colorway it matches our colorway here at home like to a t this is all you can't quite tell on camera probably because of the lighting but this is all uh like a dark blue and then all of the dark bits are blue and then you've got like an aqua gray white and the pottery itself is gray it's a perfect like representation of our color story in our house and then this is not antiqued <laughs> this is the other h&m purchase that i made the h&m home purchase and it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be i thought i ordered the smaller one but apparently not i got the big one i'm i'm i still like it and just keep in mind, none of this stuff is decorated yet because we've got to clean the house and then we're going to, I'm going to figure out, you know, where things go. But for now, it's staying right here. And then the other uh, antique find, though, that I shared on stories is this beautiful cut crystal vase. Or it's not cut crystal, but it is a crystal vase from Mikasa. We got it for $16. Normally retails for $80. This stuff here from Mexico... Um, because it's from Mexico and the Mexico dollar is not that good, the peso is not that great. American, it's like maybe $25, which is what we paid for it. So we got face value for it. But in Mexico, in Mexican pesos or Mexican dollars, it's like something like 163 or something like that. I am definitely going to start collecting more of his stuff. Then, of course, the Mikasa base. Let me show you what else. We got this piece of artwork. And it is carved wood on a wood backing. Um, it's a really, really nice, heavy piece of artwork. Uh, we don't know what its value is as of yet because I don't think Angie's taken, she's not had the time actually to do some deeper research on it. But it's by the artist Dale. We have another piece of his, not like this though. It's more like a, a is it a painting or a print? It is a print. It's a print that we found at an antique store a couple years ago. And this was at the antique store, it was like $90. But because we've already got some of his artwork, we figured it was worth it. And also because it's carved and we don't, I've never seen any of his work like this. So we have to do a little bit more research to figure out when and what this truly is, but really, really beautiful piece. The next piece is this pretty little vase that we picked up at a different antique store. It's really pretty glass. Um, it's 
It's got this beautiful brown painting on it and gold and white. And it is really, really pretty. Of course, it, this is definitely, I would have to say it's a 70s piece. Um, but it's so pretty. I love the colorway. It reminds me of fall, but I, we're still going to put it on the console, I think, because it just kind of goes with the console. Um, so I really love it, though, because there's just something about it. It is just, it's it looks so fine. You know, it looks very delicate. But it's, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it other than there's just something about it that I really, really loved. And Angie did, too. And then we have this little beauty right here. This is going to be going outside. It is a terracotta pitcher. I love, love, love the roundness of this handle. I love the roundness of the body. It is glazed on the inside, but because we don't really know when and how this was made, I'm not going to use it for food or for drink rather. I don't know that it is food safe. So it's going to be a vessel for flowers. Then we got this really, really beautiful 1950s Myrtle Wood Lazy Susan. It is a bit warped. I have to wonder how it got warped. I just can't imagine what happened to it to make it get warped other than it got wet. That's the only thing I can think of. And it has a beautiful base. There's a little bit of staining right there on the wood, but it looks like a heart. So I'm okay with it. And then here is the marking on the underside. And the felt is coming, is deteriorating, but that's fine. We're going to just keep it as it is. And I don't know what we're going to use this for just yet, but it will be used for something. So those are just some of the antique finds that we picked up over the weekend. We got a couple of Christmas things, but those are wrapped up and will be put away into the holiday stuff. For now, I'm going to do the dishes really quickly um, and then probably get the potatoes started. <laughs> Thursday. Yeah, it's been a couple days since I picked up the camera. I apologize. We have been on a cleaning frenzy in the last couple of days because we're getting things ready to go. We're getting the house prepared for our um, house sitters. We have been working on cleaning up the primary bedroom, getting the primary bath nice and clean and organized because it had gotten way, way, way out of control in there. We have also um, been working on the kitchen and the living room and all of that stuff. So I apologize that I didn't take you along for the cleaning, but I was a little embarrassed. I'm going to be honest with you because things were such a mess. The one room I'm not embarrassed sharing with you is my studio, which is also a hot mess. My studio is actually our guest room. And so I have to clean up the bed. I have to take off the bedding, wash it, all of that. I've got a big laundry day coming up. Actually, it's probably going to be a laundry weekend. But I also have got activities planned because today I need to go and get my hair dyed. It is time to do a root touch up. I am going to Nordstrom to the La Mer counter to attend a La Mer facial event. Probably going to walk away with some nice skincare. So we've got some stuff planned for today and then tomorrow. Tomorrow is my aunt's birthday and so we are going to spend the day hanging out with her, taking her her gifts, going out to dinner with the fam. We're going out to brunch the day after for her as well. Tomorrow is going to be a wash as far as trying to get things done here at home. Saturday in the morning that's going to be, you know, gone. I'm going to try and do as much cleaning up in this room as I can until it is time to go to my hair appointment. I'm going to also prepare my stuff for from Mango for a video. I've got very, very minimal makeup, very minimal jewelry. I just have my little shrimp earrings from Amazon that I picked up uh, around the holidays last year. I know my hairstylist is going to ask me to take my earrings off. Let me go ahead and show you the outfit of the day and then I'm going to set you up. We're going to prepare the mango order. I also have to prepare my H&M returns. Okay, sorry, never mind the box. I've, that's my H&M box that I've got to use for packing up stuff. Outfit of the day, I'm keeping it very simple today. I am just wearing my black rib knit top from H&M. wearing my white wide leg pants and my um, little uh, sparkly 
slip-ons from Skechers um, because I just need to be comfortable today. That is the outfit of the day. I will be wearing my cream colored blazer. This is one that I picked up from H&M. It's one of my favorites. It is still chilly and wet outside, so I still have to wear my blazers. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let me go ahead and get you set up on a tripod and I'm gonna start out by getting the mango stuff together. to the hair appointment getting that knocked out first oh this weather is downright depressing I am not wearing my blazer because I forgot to bring it with me downstairs and we were running late I didn't have time to run back upstairs so I grabbed whatever jacket and my waterproof little puffy jacket that I got from Amazon I will have that link down below because this is really a great little find I didn't spend a lot of money on it. It is very waterproof. It is collapsible, you know, and collapsible, foldable. What is it? Anyway, it you can make it a little small little package. Um, so really, really good find. I love wearing this little jacket. I would almost say that it's a little bit, maybe a smidge too warm for it. Compact. Compact, thank you. Um, but whatever, it was what was available. Um, it's been a hectic morning as you saw. I only was able to get the mango stuff ironed out. Um, I'm kind of questioning my mango order because they sent me stuff that was in like, I don't remember ordering those sizes. I got something in a 4X, I got something in a 3X. Their 2X pants don't look like they're going to be 2X. So anyway, the, the mango haul might be a fail. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. And then at, as soon as that's done, we've got to hurry on off to the La Mer appointment. Hopefully my hair appointment doesn't overlap the La Mer appointment. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my stylist is going to be doing. I know that we're touching up the roots, but I don't know if there's any, it's going to be any kind of like work on the balayage involved. I don't, I don't, I don't think she said you were going to do that this time. Yeah. So. I might get some curtain bangs cut into my hair though. She'll do that really quickly. Um, only because I just, I don't know, I feel like having them again. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, that's what's going on. And I will check in once we are at the La Mer event. I will try and take you to the La Mer event with me um, because it should be interesting. I'm so upset, my nail broke. Yesterday I was doing, um, I was opening up the mustard bottle and my, my thumbnail chipped and it just got worse and worse and worse. But anywho, I've got, we have Manny Petties tomorrow. By the way, she's not ADHD, not at all, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> My brain kind of bounces around a bit. We are very excited. Hopefully it doesn't rain. They've got rain forecasted the entire week that we're there, but uh, the weather is always kind of like wrong. Um, actually, they're, well, yeah, they're always wrong they can never quite get it right so anyway hopefully we'll have good weather right yes i am manifesting good weather beautiful sunshine yeah and even if it does rain it's okay a little bit um i don't want it to rain the whole time but if it does rain it's at least going to be warm rain that's true yeah. 81 degrees so we'll I'll see we'll walk in that I'm okay with that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens because I mean you know a 40% chance of rain doesn't mean rain all day so anyway I will check in with you guys again in a little while I was just on cloud nine it was like a kickoff to my vacation that facial I didn't realize that it was gonna be a full-on facial 
and it was amazing amazing i'm so happy that i did that the technician was so wonderful she was so good and very very informative needless to say i came home with product so let me show you what i got i got the la mer the eye concentrate which i've tried a sample of that and it is really really nice it's a very very good lightweight eye cream it's not overly thick or overly heavy it actually does a really good job and i have a little bit of milia that is happening on this eye over here and when i was using the sample that i had that milia started to go away and diminish and i ran out and it has since kind of just kind of it's kind of been holding steady where it was and so i know that the eye concentrate is going to help with that it will also help with dark circles and i am very very happy to have it because i really do like the eye concentrate i have tried the la mer the eye balm and i was not very impressed with that one but the eye concentrate i really really loved i also picked up a soft cream so i've got the la mer the soft cream and this is the one that comes in the white pot it is not the hard cream. They've got two different types. The hard cream is really, really thick and emollient. I will be using that as my nighttime moisturizer after I'm done with all of my Genesance products. I just feel that my skin soaks it up while I am sleeping. And so I will be using that. But for daytime, for the morning skincare routine, I will be using the moisturizing soft cream, which is not as thick, not as rich as the hard cream but still has a lot of really, really great skincare benefits. Also has the Miracle Broth. All of their products have the Miracle Broth in them. So very, very excited for that. I also picked up a lip balm. Now, I don't know if you watched me during my beauty days, but when I was doing beauty, I talked about the La Mer, the balm. And the lip balm is fabulous. The case study that I have for this is I had had chapped lips for a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. And I mean, it was to the point that I had cracks in my lips and would not go away. I decided to pick up a La Mer the lip balm and I used it for about a few days. I want to say three or four days and the problem went away. If you struggle with dry, chapped cracking lips. This is the best lip balm ever. Spend the money on the lip balm, uh, if anything, because this is such a wonderful product. It is so moisturizing. It feels so good on the lips and it heals chapped lips like no other. Faster, better than anything else that I have tried. This is a fantastic, fantastic product. And I love, love, love the La Mer, the balm, the lip balm. They also gave me a free gift. I got this really nice little cosmetics bag. I have no idea what's in this, so we're gonna explore this together. Oh, yay, I think I got their little uh, travel set. There are gaps in the skincare regimen that this is going to help me to fill. Okay, so this first sample is called the, Gen the Regenerating Serum. She used this on me today and it felt fabulous. So what this does is it's like a super serum almost and it really, really does some really lovely plumping to the skin. It just gives it this beautiful hydration and healing. It's anti-aging and she also said that it would help me with my broken capillaries that I have right here because I did suffer from rosacea when I lived back in Texas. And then I got a, a lifting and firming mask. I don't think she used this on me today, but um, I am excited to give this a try. And then I also got two more things here. Okay, I got another little tub of the um, hard cream. And I also got a travel size of the, the eye concentrate. So this is awesome. I am going to take this with me on my trip and... <sighs> I am I am set on skincare for quite some time. I'm so very excited that I was invited to the event. I came home with some really really lovely skincare. I am very very excited 
to see the uh, benefits that I'm going to get from using the La Mer skincare. I think that of all of the things that we can invest in, skincare is one of the top things to invest in. I've got a call that is coming up in, oh, in one minute. So I'm going to hop on that call. I will talk with you again once I am done and uh, let you know where I'm at. All right, friends. So I think I'm going to call it for the day. Angie and I both have kind of pooped out. We've been on such a cleaning frenzy. I think we've earned a night off. We're going to go downstairs. We're going to watch our newest and latest obsession, Downton Abbey. We're so late to this to this show, but we're obsessed. I I didn't know that she wanted to watch it. She didn't know that I was interested in watching it. We ran out of things to watch on TV. And uh, we decided, let's go ahead and dive on in and see what's what. And now, I'm so obsessed. And so is Angie. We're like both of us, like glued. We're on season three. And now that the Downton, Downton Abbey movie is coming out, the second one, it's even more imperative that we finish the seasons and then watch the first movie. I will come back to you guys tomorrow morning when we pick up cleaning once again. And uh, yeah, so I'll talk... friends welcome to Friday what I showed you just a little bit ago was my new morning skincare routine using my La Mer products I'm such a happy girl with those products and, you know it was a lovely lovely morning of skincare in a very hectic morning <laughs> shut up uh, because we we had to get dressed and go and get our mani pedis before vacation. So I've got my mermaid nails going on. I didn't expect them to be this vibrant. I thought they would be a little more subtle. But uh, yeah, so we got our morning manicure, manicures or morning manicures. We got our mani pedis and you got a really cool duochrome. Yeah, it's a really cool little duochrome. We're on our way back home. We were going to actually go to my sister's house, but we've had a change of plans because Angie got an order in, so she's got to go and pick that up and get it into the post. Then uh, we're going to head out to my sister's, and we're probably going to pick up some lunch somewhere in there because Lord knows I'm hungry. We're going to go and spend time with my sister and my aunt. It is her birthday, um, so we're going to take her her gifts, and then we're going to chill and then we're going out to dinner so long day um but uh and and no, no work is getting done sadly i'm not gonna have today's video up well i have to go um work with mando on his training because his akc test is coming up that's right that's right the governess is working with my sister's dog that's what we call angie we call her the dog's governess she she takes him to his uh little his AKC training lessons. That's what we got my sister for uh, Christmas. Yeah. 
and you know my sister's busy a very busy woman and so Angie has you know volunteered to as part of the gift to take take Mando to his lessons to his training and um, so Angie's gonna do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with him um, before his big test when we get back from vacation um, but uh, yeah, so there's that that's going to happen in between all of that, um, which is kind of why we're spending the afternoon there. Plus, we wanted to spend the afternoon with my aunt um, on her birthday, and so um, I'm, we're going to have fun. I love spending time with my family. After the pandemic, it feels a lot more, um, I don't know, it's a lot of fun to hang around with the family, and I think it's because we spent nearly two years not really being able to hang out. So, um, it's always a pleasure to hang around with my family. While you're wrapping up, wrapping up your package, what? <laughs> While you are getting, getting your order together, I'm going to have another cup of coffee because I need one. <laughs> I need one. All right, guys, enough of the clowning around. Stop it. And we'll talk with you guys again in a, in a very, very full day. We are now on our way home from dinner. We went and had dinner at a local restaurant called Cactus Restaurants. Um, and we are headed home. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and call the vlog here because I don't know that there's too much more to do here on the vlog for today. I guess we will talk with you guys again tomorrow morning. because their brunch is actually quite good um, so yeah I apologize that I did not get to show you the outfit of the day it's actually a repeat of an outfit from earlier this week only because we were running late like I tell you guys all the time I've got a specific outfit or two I've got two different outfits in my mind you know that I pull together when I'm in a hurry or too tired or whatever so this is one of my quote-unquote uniforms um, and you can kind of see it. It's my it's my uh, cream colored blazer, a black my black rib knit um, shirt from um, from H and M, and my white wide leg pants with my little crystal slip ons. Um, yeah, that's my no brainer. Just gotta throw it on and get out the door kind of outfit. Um, so. We are on our way, I'm so excited, I love brunch. Uh, no makeup today, that's why I'm wearing my sunglasses because my, my dark circles are just out of control. But last night, man, we were so beat from everything that we actually went to bed at nine o'clock, which is so unusual for us, right baby? Mm -hmm. Passed out by probably 9.30, yeah. Yeah. That never happens. Yeah, we were so tired because this week, We've actually been waking up to an alarm. Um, we've been getting up out of bed at 6.30 in the morning because we've got you know, a lot to do, which actually is something that I wanna implement after we get back because I love having a lot more of the day to do things. I get my work started earlier, all of that. I just feel that it will help our productivity. But that aside, um, I just wanted to check in with you guys. What we have on deck today is we need to finish cleaning up at the house. So I guess that's it for now. I'll check in with you guys later. We are back at home now and I've gotten my laundry started and uh, I am about to start cleaning up my shooting room so you guys get to come along for that. I'm going to set up some YouTube and I'm going to get to tidying up and figuring out what I'm going to do with all this stuff. The first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to pack up my H&M purchases, those stuff that's re being returned because we need to run an errand tomorrow to go take that to be dropped off. I'm going to set you guys down. I'm going to do some cleanup and you guys get to watch and I will check in with you guys when I'm either done or taking a break because I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to clean up this room. Hopefully not too long. Things, I think it's just a matter of finding a home for the stuff. So I will check back in here in a little while.
I think I'm the worst vlogger ever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I apologize for not picking up the camera again yesterday. I don't even remember where I left off yesterday. Uh, oh yes, I was cleaning the room. Um, I'm still not quite done with that room. I will show it to you here in just a minute though. And then uh, in a few minutes after the floor is done drying, I am going to fold up some laundry and then we are going to get to packing. Right now we are in the middle of washing all of the bedding, washing all of the curtains. They are in the wash and process. I've got another batch of curtains to go. It was supposed to be a rainy day and it's turned out to be the exact opposite, which makes me doubt the weather report for Hawaii because they're saying that where we're staying, it's gonna be rainy. So I don't know, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go see what's going on downstairs. Looks like our lilac is coming in. We've got that one. And then we've got these over here. Mmm, so pretty. Such beautiful, beautiful blooms. The lavender is starting to come in. Put that on the way here. So pretty. Got some beautiful apple blossoms happening. We're gonna have a lot of apples. We actually have plums, I'm very excited. I was not optimistic about our plums. And uh, they actually are gonna be happening. So we found a few yesterday. I can't find them now. Oh, there it is. See it right, right there. That little thing right there, that's a plum. Our strawberry's doing really nicely. And our peonies are also doing very nicely. to pack yet but I am going to show you what I will be packing remember I am a maximalist when it comes to packing for vacation I pack a lot the first dress I'm taking is my little old navy dress I think this is such a beautiful dress it's gonna look so pretty this will be a good like everyday hanging out going out touristing kind of dress I don't know that I would necessarily wear this for evening. This is more of a day dress for me. Um, it does fit me at maxi length. If you'll recall um, in my old Navy haul, which I will have listed down in the description bar below. This is a great dress to just kind of hang around in and go touristing in, you know, go see the sights. It's very lightweight. It's very cool. It goes good with sneakers. For a nice brunch or something like that, or maybe the luau that we're going to, I gonna take this my my green gingham dress you know how much I love this dress it's absolutely fabulous it's essential <laughs> and so the gingham dress is going with me I am thinking about maybe the luau would be a good time to wear this dress I just wanted to bring the gingham dress because I can't leave it behind then if we decide to go out to a nice dinner I want to wear this this is from Target this is Knox Rose it's in a 2xl it's just a beautiful dress I will have all of the videos that these dresses have made an appearance in linked in the description bar down below I will also have as many of these dresses linked in the description bar down below for you guys another fun day dress is this one that I got from Old Navy it is the one with the tie on the back it's got the beautiful yellow and blue and purple florals it does fit me at maxi length this is another good dress to kind of hang around in go touristing and you know just relaxing during the day so i am considering this more of a day dress and of course i have to take this dress this is a dress that is from walmart it is from time and true it is a fabulous gauzy bright fuchsia 
maxi dress. It's got a halter neck, um, buttons all the way down, but those are not working buttons. I can't not take this dress. This dress is stunning. It has pockets. This one is one that I could wear during the day or at night if I wanted to. I can kind of like, this could be like an all day dress if I went out and about and then didn't have time to change for dinner. I could easily get away with wearing this dress. I've got this dress folded in half, but this is the smocked bodice dress from H&M. I showed it to you. They have it in a lot of different colors. I am very, very partial to the black. This is definitely going to be an evening dress. It is very, it's kind of fancy. It's kind of elevated. You guys saw this when I did my vacation capsule wardrobe. I absolutely fell in love with this outfit. This is my Aritzia twirl skirt and the halter top. I just really love this outfit for going out at night. I think it's so pretty and uh, it it harkens to my soul because it is black with neutrals. Then there's this dress that I hung on to from H&M. This is from my most recent haul. I could not give this dress up. This dress is so pretty and so nice. So this is going to be another one of those I could feasibly wear this during the day, but it is also going to be one of those dressier, you know, um, nighttime kind of dresses. And uh, I just love it. I think it is so pretty. It's li it's a linen blend or is it 100% linen? I think it's a linen blend. I love this dress. This dress gives me Halston vibes for some reason. This is the um, shirt dress from H&M that I recently hauled. It just makes me feel really sophisticated and it makes me feel just really pretty and I just love this dress to bits and so um, I am going to take this dress and pop, probably wear it for a night out. Um, something that's a little bit more subdued but still um, that needs a little bit, that needs something a little bit more elevated. So those are my summer dresses that I'm taking. I am also taking this hat. It's a visor actually that I picked up from H&M last year when I originally scheduled my Hawaii vacation. I got this hat, uh, this visor I should say, and I never wore it. And so it is going to Hawaii with me as well as my little, um, my bucket hat that I picked up at Target um, earlier this year. I don't think this hat is uh, available anymore at Target, but I will try and find one similar somewhere. I picked this up. Uh, it was in their um, in their dollar section, uh, and uh, it was only five dollars. So, not understandable why it went so so quickly. I am trying to not get crazy with packing shoes. So we've got a few different categories. We've got evening. We've got walking. We've got hanging out at the beach or in the hotel <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I really, really love these gold shoes. These are shoes that I picked up from Zara last summer and I really like them because they are a wedge heel so they're super comfortable. I could wear these all night long but the same holds true for these. These are a beautiful like a toffee colored sandal. I was thinking about taking the ones from Amazon, but because these are just slightly more comfortable, the heel is a bit more substantial and the straps are a little bit more substantial. And so they support my foot a bit better. And then I've got my by far Tanya sandals. I think I need to at least eliminate one of these three pairs. I've got my sneakers from Time and True. Now I love my Gucci sneakers, don't get me wrong, but they are not the best for a lot of walking. And these little guys are. These have memory foam in them. They're from Walmart, time and true. I like the fact that they've got the gold embellishment. They're going to look really pretty with any of the maxi dresses that I have. And so I've opted to take these instead of my Gucci because if we're doing a lot of touristing, I want to be sure that I am comfortable. Then I have these beautiful sandals that I got from Zara last summer that I wore to pieces. These are like a clear vinyl with pearl embellishment. I love these because they dress uh, anything up, even though they're a very casual kind of espadrille style shoe. They do dress whatever I wear with them up just a little bit. You know, they elevate them because you've got these pearl um, embellishments on the shoe. Then we have these sandals from Mango. These... I don't know if I'm going to take them because they're very comfortable, yes, but 
for a lot of walking, I don't know that I can handle them. And they're not exactly meant to be in water. They're leather. So um, I've got these other sandals here. Another purchase last summer when I thought I was going to Hawaii in September. These are the Olukai sandals. These are really, really good. They are meant to be in water. Um, so I think I will likely eliminate these and just take these two by way of sandals. The sneakers are decided and I'm deciding right here as we stand. These guys are out. I am wearing my by far Tanya sandal and my mules from Zara. So we're down to five pairs of shoes. Does not include my travel shoes. For travel shoes, I'm not too concerned about those because those are shoes that I wear only for traveling. I don't wear them at the destination. They don't bulk up my suitcase because they're on my feet. And so I'm going to be taking my sparkly slip-on Skechers because they're easy to walk in. So we've eliminated some of the shoes. Let's talk handbags. I am minimalizing the handbags. I don't have any kind of straw handbags or anything like that, which is a gap that I need to fill, but not this trip. <laughs> I am taking my Tory Burch wallet on chain. This is a very easy bag to carry when I'm touristing and things like that because it does have a long strap and it does wear as a crossbody. It fits all of my cards, my phone, my lipsticks, my lotion. It fits all the essentials and I don't want anything too bulky. This is actually perfect and it's a nice beautiful ivory and the bonus is, is that I can wear this as a clutch at night if I want to. I am going to go ahead and put everything over in the room where it belongs. I haven't pulled out my suitcase yet. I will pack, but I need to fold some laundry and I need to clear off this bed so that I can get it, the bedding in the washer. So talk with you in a bit. Someone stole my spot. I'm about to run out of battery too, again. So this is future Oralia and I'm hopping on to officially close out this vlog. I apologize that I was not able to close it out properly. Time got away from us, but I will see you again in the Hawaii vlog. Make sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the Hawaii vlog. Bye.